Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 11.4 has been out for a few days for developers and public beta testers and I thought I'd share my experience. Now typically I'll send a poll out on Twitter and YouTube on the community tab to see what others think but this time around I think I'm pretty safe in saying this is a typical first beta meaning that it has all sorts of bugs as far as lockups and things like that. Now, firstly, let me talk about my battery. Right now I'm at 71%, and typically when I'm on a beta, I don't expect it to be as good as a final release when it comes out. So with 11.3, for example, on my iPhone 10, everything was smooth, and I could easily get to the end of the day, uh, take it off a charger at 6.30 in the morning, get until midnight, not putting it on a charger at all, and have 50% battery left, at least for me, how I use the phone, and you'll see Mail, Safari, usually YouTube Studio, YouTuber at the top for me. And I'll have a lot more battery. Now this has been plugged in since, and I'll get about 20 to 40% battery by the end of the day now, over the past few days. Normally the first day is the worst, and then it improves over time, but it's seeming to be pretty consistent where it drains much faster than it did before. And I'm usually on Wi-Fi, and it just seems to, to decrease much more quickly. Now, smoothness has been okay for me. It's been fine. 3D Touch is working okay. Most features are working okay and apps. However, today I had it completely freeze. And I mean to the point where it was just a black screen like this. I couldn't unlock it. It wouldn't respond. I thought I was going to have to reboot it. And then thankfully it just came back to life. It's had a lot of stutters and slowdowns. Uh, it was fine speed as far as scrolling and everything works, but then all of a sudden it was stuttering after it did that lockup, and then it sped back up to normal speed. I'm not exactly sure what was happening. You'll see everything's opening quickly now. If I open uh, the App Store, for example, everything seems to be responding okay. I haven't had any issues there, but for whatever reason, it was just really slow and stuttery this afternoon, and then it went right back to normal. It didn't do a reboot or anything. It didn't have the little dial in the center where it's loading or anything like that, but it's been really strange and a typical beta one, which I didn't expect this late in the game with iOS 11.3, but it is a beta and on an iPhone 10, you want, might want to be careful. Now I've had quite a few of you also message me through Twitter and say that on devices such as the seven plus, this is actually running the beta as well. Uh, devices such as the seven plus, eight plus are having bad battery life as well. Some people are saying they can't download apps. They've had little bugs here and there, and some other people have said that iOS 11.4 battery is incredibly bad. So that's something to keep in mind. This is a first-generation beta running on these phones. So with the 7 Plus, for example, or the 8 Plus or the 10, don't expect it to be perfect because it's a beta and they're trying to work out the bugs. However, it's more buggy than I would expect this late on as far as iOS 11.123 and now we're at 4. I would expect it to be better. Since it's not great already, I would recommend just skipping this one, waiting till beta 2 comes out. If you must have a beta, you probably know to expect some bugs anyway. Stay on the stable 11.3. And if I find other bugs throughout, I'll let you know. But so far, I haven't had any specific bugs, but just those lockups and all of a sudden it just doesn't work right and then goes right back to normal. Nothing else has really been malfunctioning other than bad battery for me. But let me know your thoughts about it in the comments below. If you found anything specifically or you found any bugs, please send them to me on Twitter. And I like to see those little animated videos that you create so I can see exactly what those bugs are. If you can't send them to me on Twitter, send them to me through either YouTube or through email. And you can, I'll check them out. And if I use them, I'll, I'll give you a shout out. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll leave it in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.